Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are going to talk about my personal goals for 2022. So if you are new around here, just know that my channel is typically cash stuffing, it's budget related. We do a bit of talk about Etsy and YouTube because this is my full time income. If any of that interests you, please check out my other videos. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Now let's move on to my personal goals for 2022. In the intro, you guys saw a little bit of a sneak peek of what we are about to do here. In the past, I have been a fan of setting up vision boards for the year, and that is essentially what this is, but it is on note cards. So let's talk about it. When you set up a big vision board for yourself, it can be very inspiring to have that on the wall, to be able to look at it and see your goals and know exactly what you're reaching for. It can also be very overwhelming to have a big vision board just full of different pictures, different ideas, different goals. Some things may get lost along the way. If you find it inspiring to have something like that on your wall, please definitely keep doing what works for you and what you enjoy. I have always had those vision board style boards for every single year, but this year I thought I would try something a little bit different. I found these note cards at Office Depot. They were maybe three or four dollars and it just came with these blank cards. I like the idea of doing this on note cards instead of a big board because I don't have to then try to figure out what room I want to have it in, somewhere where I'm going to see a lot, but it's not necessarily seen by everyone who walks into my house. And this is very transportable to do it this way. My New Year's goals are just more inspiring. There's something for me to see and to look towards. And then when I set up my quarterly goals, that's when I set up more smart goals. You guys will see me set up my Q1 goals pretty soon and you will see what I mean. Like for example, if you have the goal of growing your Instagram channel, not called a channel, is it? <laughs> so if you have the goal of growing your Instagram account, for example, that would be something I would put on my 2022 goals like this. But then whenever you are setting up your quarterly goals, that's when you make it more actionable. So you might say, to grow my Instagram following, I need to have three photo shoots so that I have pictures to put up every single week. It becomes more specific the more you work it out into quarterly goals and then weekly goals, right? So keep that in mind. These goals that I'm gonna share today are not very action oriented. I'm not discussing how I'm gonna reach these goals. I'm just telling you what I would like to do and what my overall goals are for this year. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the draw to doing it this way too is I can throw this vision board inspiration in my purse. I can carry this along with me wherever I go and flip through it to remind myself what my goals are for the year. I can also use the blank cards that were not used today to continue to evolve my vision board and my hopes and my goals for myself for the year. So when we review the goals at the end of 2022 to see if I hit my goals, I will share with you the new cards that I made and things that sort of evolved throughout the year. Did that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So my goals for 2022 are going to start with my word for this year and that word for the year is foundation. So if you've ever built a house, if you've ever had a house built for you, you know that you have to level the ground, you have to do all the framework, you have to pour the concrete. It is not the prettiest part of building a house. It's not the part where you get to pick out the paint or the chandelier or anything super amazing like that. It is just laying that groundwork, right? That is what I see 2022 as being for me. I'm going to have a lot of life changes. It's not going to be my most laid back year. I have a lot of things going on. So I thought foundation was perfect for like my word for this year. And this is one of the reasons why. One of my goals for 2022 is to move to Nashville. It is something I'm very excited about, but of course it can be very scary to move, especially if you are someone like me. I'm a single mom of two little boys, and the main reason I'm moving is to get closer to better hospitals. My boys do have kidney and liver disease. It's something they were born with. It's not curable. It will lead to transplants. So I am in South Mississippi, and I just want to get somewhere with a bigger and better hospital system. So moving is big for me this year. I just made these three cards that inspire me with moving. They remind me what I'm moving towards. So the very first goal for me is to move to Nashville this year. That will happen in the middle of the summer. I will of course take you guys along that journey with me, but that is my very first goal. Next goal is to get a new car. I will need a more reliable car. I will be living in a town 
by myself. I won't have any family to come and rescue me. I think one of the comforts of living by my dad and my twin brother is I know if anything were to happen to my car here, they would come and pick me up. <laughs> so I did already start working towards being more independent by getting triple A. I have triple A now. And I think that's a great move to make if you are someone who's single or someone who doesn't have a lot of support around. But I did go ahead and get a AAA membership. But in addition to that, this year I would love to get a new and more reliable vehicle to just make me feel better about being more independent in a city by myself. The next goal for 2022 for me is to hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me meet this goal for 2022. I did start my YouTube channel in the middle of 2021, so I feel absolutely amazed and blessed to have 15,000 subscribers in these first six months on YouTube. I don't think 50,000 subscribers is out of the question, but it's definitely a stretch goal. I would just love to continue growing this community. I feel like I feel so at home with you guys. I feel so thankful for all of the advice that you guys give me in the comments. I love chatting with you guys. Y'all know this pandemic can be still at this point, even in 2022, feel very isolating. So I found my community here on YouTube. I found you guys as my people. I have absolutely been loving this journey and I would like to continue to grow on YouTube and to continue to be a part of this community. Okay, so let's move some of this over so we can see the rest of my goals. I do have a separate video all about all of my financial goals for 2022. If you would like to find that on my channel, please go ahead over there. You can see more of my financial goals in that video. I did go ahead and mention it here though, so I have it here on this vision board with me, but I would like to create five streams of income this year. I already have two. I have Etsy and YouTube. I would like to start getting sponsors on YouTube. So that would basically give me a third stream of income off of work I'm basically already doing by building this community. My fourth stream of income will be the paper planner business that I've been working on that will launch in the middle of 2022. And my fifth stream of income, I have an idea about that one, but I haven't completely announced it yet. It is not paper or budget related exactly, but it has to do with the realm of organizing and that kind of thing. If and when I announce that, you guys will see and understand why I'm saying that. And then something else I talked a lot about in my financial video is I would like to increase my financial literacy. So I went ahead and made that a goal here on the vision board as well. Next goal is to start waking up at 4 a.m. This is something that I've been doing the last few days. And then in December, I had a few weeks span of doing this and it has been absolutely life-changing. I will say I've always considered myself a night owl. I'm way more creative at night. However, as far as like actually getting things done, most nights I am exhausted by the time I put my kids to bed at 8 p.m. So I will like wake up late or right on time to get them to school and to do all of their things and I'll say, oh, I slept in. I'll stay up late and do my work. Reality is, even though I'm a night owl, 9 p.m. comes by and I'm just completely checked out, both physically and emotionally, I'm just drained. So after 8 p.m., I end up staying up until like midnight watching TV or doing something very unproductive. Whereas if I make myself get up at 4 a.m., I do all of the things. I'm like, I'm up with a purpose. I did not wake up at 4 a.m. to watch TV and I get so much work done. My goal is to consistently wake up at 4 a.m. and to keep getting all of my work done. Like I said, it's something I've been doing, but I would like to do it very consistently. If not every day, then five or six days out of the week, I would like to wake up at 4 a.m. Next goal is meal plan. Something I would really like to do this year is just get on better schedules as a whole. So just like waking up at 4 a.m., I would like to shift that schedule around to be more productive. I would love to make my time more productive by getting meal plans and meal prepping a little more consistent and make that a bigger goal in my life. I feel like that's a goal every year in my life. It happens in spurts. I would like to say that this is gonna be the year that I really get meal planning down, but we, we will definitely see. I've started to buy some meals that are a little bit more convenient. You know, you can buy like the pot roast where it already has all of the stuff in it together. I try to buy one or two meals like that per week at this point. I know it's a little more expensive, but just where I'm at with my time, where I'm at in life, I feel like it's worth it. So I'm trying to find 
healthy options of meals that are more put together. So on that train of thought, if anyone has any meal prep or meal planning hacks or easy to put together meals, please leave it in the comments. I would love to hear what it is. That is going to be life changing for me this year if I can get it together. Next goal for me is self care slash really finding who I am. As someone who has exited a an abusive marriage, there's just a lot of my, all of my 20s were gone just trying to impress someone else or to keep other people happy or just trying to survive. There was a lot of survival mode for my 20s. I am now in my 30s and I feel like this is the year that I just, Again, back to foundation, I find out who I am, I find out what I wanna wear, I don't worry about other people, and I just do what I want to do. Of course, of course, there's the caveat of, I am a mom, so I will be making decisions that are healthy and smart for all of us. Just trying to find joy and trying to find myself this year. Okay, last, last two things are two things that kind of go hand in hand a little bit. So I am homeschooling my oldest son right now and I will in the middle of the year start homeschooling both of them once my youngest is out of his preschool. Homeschooling in itself is not the goal. That is what's gonna happen. I would like to make homeschooling more fun. I would like to find the joy in homeschooling. Part of that for me is going to be just making sure my schedules are all set up right. So I'm having a good balance between when I'm working and when I'm homeschooling because right now it's been a little chaotic. I've been half focused on homeschool and half focused on work throughout a lot of my homeschooling journey. So I'm working on getting my routines and my work days set so that my homeschooling days are homeschooling days. I would say the goal for this is not only to be homeschooling, but to make it more fun to really be committed and there on the days that I'm schooling my children. Included in that is I would like to be outside with my children more often. I would like to create more outside adventures for us and for them. And a little second goal to this outside time is I would like to find some outside time for myself, go on a walk at the beach, do different things that are just for me. Not just like outside, outside, but just getting out of the house more. I know throughout the pandemic, I got very comfortable just being at home all of the time, but on days that I'm not homeschooling and with my boys, on days that they're at co-ops, I would like to start finding ways to work outside the home or even go visit a coffee shop and read for 30 minutes a day. Just finding different ways to get my body out of this house. So that is it for my 2022 goals. Like I said earlier, there are extra cards. So I will be adding pictures of inspiration. I may be adding small little goals here and there. And then at the end of 2022, we will go through these note cards together. We will see what goals I hit and what goals I, I didn't quite make, right? <laughs> you made it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your love and support. You guys mean the world to me. And as always, I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.